Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah Ramadan Mubarak That's right, the month of blessings is here The month of reformation is here The month of Allah's generosity is here And may Allah give us the ability to make the most of this blessed month Ameen Smile to Jannah <laughs> As I'm sure you guys are aware, a lot of madness is going on in India. You're watching, you're, you're somebody that must dying. be watching you're pornography. Dying. The Hindu extremists are running rampant in that nation and Muslims are being persecuted the most. Of course, because it's Muslim persecution, the mainstream media isn't going to cover it that much. So I thought, you know what? Let's react to some of the content and the stuff so you guys can see the severity of what's actually going on there. I don't know about you guys, but I get the stench of paedophilia from this bloke right there. Why? Because this expired jar of mustard keeps using the word girls. And his pedo friends seem to love it. Now Mustard Man seems to assume that our queens, our princesses will be interested in his ugly pedo friends. Now don't get me wrong, yeah? Once he clears the pit stains from his jumper and learns how to count and gets rid of that pedo ribbon around his neck, he might stand a chance with the over 70s. <laughs> Again, I use the word might. That being said, the human rights groups, the female empowerment rights groups, you guys are up now because this guy He's not the only one. There's other clips I can show, but they are more, they're a bit more intense. To make it easy for the human rights groups, I'm going to tag you on Twitter and the rest of the community will retweet it so you guys can definitely see it. This is also a request to the expired female Bollywood actress Kangana. I, I don't know who you are. Nobody knows who you are. Who seems to be in the pocket of the BJP whenever they want to use her and then put her back, they seem to do so. If you are really genuine about female rights, now's the time for you to speak out, woman. But this guy is also giving us a valuable message, albeit in a very crude and weird way. But what this mug right here is teaching us is to look after our kids and be very involved in their upbringing from a small age. That's right. Tell your kids that they are beautiful, that they're amazing, encourage them so they don't seek that encouragement from mustard men, yeah, or from pedos, especially online. Our people seem to seek a lot of solace from online anonymous chats. Let's not give them that opportunity. That's right, keep your devices in a public place in your home. Don't give them devices from earlier on, giving the excuse. Oh, everybody's got them. Shut your mouth. Yeah, look after your kids. Maybe do less hours in the day and spend that time with your child. Your child doesn't care about the extravagant lifestyle. They just want time from their parents. And once they cross that 11, 12 mark, it's going to become more and more difficult because they're going to feel like there's a gap between you two. And once you guys haven't made the most of that early time, it's going to be a problem. So guys, let's also be aware of what these people are doing. And of course, to the sisters that are there or wherever they may be, just be careful. Yeah, if you are going out in the evening or if it's quite late, go with somebody. Call somebody and tell them where you are and give them a rough time. Yeah, always carry something with you. Make him flip. There's a self-defense video that I did with Sensei Hussein. I'll link that in the description. Please check that out. It's good to be aware of basic self-defense 
techniques. And also, let's just say you're going down a dark alley or something, be on the phone, call somebody. Yeah, be on the phone for the duration of those five minutes or so. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it down till next time. Assalamu alaikum.